This car is really cool, and so is the customer who has been with me since I had a small shop in my yard at my house over 10 years ago. Let's get started. That's right, repeat customer, as in a decade or more. This is a 1999 Mercedes CL500 and is just as beautiful today as it was 10 years ago or so when I worked on it when I first started my business. At that time, it was not called Omega Auto Clinic. It was called Omega Auto Service. So, and I tried with a local business to do a little merger and kind of work together and maybe we can pool our customers and it did not work out. That's when I dropped them, got back into my realm of running my business and it changed to Omega Auto Clinic and it's been known that ever since. This one just has a little over a hundred thousand miles on it and it is very very nice. We just got the okay for four thousand dollars worth of work and half of it is already done. Magic Mike is doing the work on it since he was a certified Mercedes Tech at El Cajon Mercedes dealership in El Cajon, California. Before I start talking too much more, let's take a look around this thing. It is so nice. There's the beautiful front end of the CL500, and yes, that is solid glass. Well, not solid, but real glass anyways. It's not plastic like today's cars. And here we are many years down the road, and do you see any yellowing or any vaped out lenses on the headlamps? Nope, crystal clear. I wish they still did glass. The paint on this thing is like a 9.5 out of 10. It's not Concord quality, but it is very, very nice. There is a small dent as we go down this side. Right here, there's a little dent in the door, but it is a driver's car. The wheels have this interesting, like a plate on the inside. It's a little metal, sheet metal plate. It looks like a almost like a fake wheel, but it's not fake. Those are aluminum alloy wheels with a strange cover on the inside. This is a very long car as well as a wide car. It is a big comfy cruiser. You can see it came from Pompano Beach, Florida, a Mercedes showroom. I think that's where he bought it from. And as we go down this side, it is more near perfection beauty. It's not perfect, but it's nearly perfect. It's got nice tires on it, no dents, no rust. It's been taken very good care of. Let's go ahead and open the hood. There's our big beautiful 5 liter V8. I'll remove this little plastic piece here. One thing that we have done, you can see, is new valve cover gaskets. They were leaking. Also, the cam adjuster seals were leaking, their O-rings, we replaced those as well. And there's various other things that Magic Mike is doing to this. There's a very long list. He's worked his way about halfway through it already. But it's already cleaning up nicely, there's no leaks anymore. There was oil seeping along the valve covers. You could almost smell it when the engine was running. Over under all these covers is the dual valve for the climate control system. I remember putting that on all the way back when I was at my little shop at home. It's still running today, still working today, so that was a, a great repair. Thermal clutch is nice. Listen to that, guys. That's not a plastic fan. It's cast aluminum. So, yep, 5 liter V8. These got pretty good power. They're actually decent on fuel. They're not great on fuel, but they're decent. They're a very, very good engine. And we'll let Mrs. Wizard give you guys a tour of the interior. So here we are, ladies, gents. It does say there, 110,000 miles on this. And look at that gauge cluster. Isn't it just beautiful? Iconic, iconic Mercedes. Look at that. It's just pristine. All the needles are nice and glowing orange. Looking fabulous. As we slide up, Look at that dash. This looks really, really good. Nothing is broken. Everything is in pristine shape. 
does have nice little speakers in the corners and lovely wood trim throughout the leather wrapped door card all the way around to our center console area. Again, what we expect to see in a Mercedes, normal controls here. It does have a new Alpine stereo added to this, which I can understand. Sometimes Mercedes stereos are not the best, especially of this era. I get that. We do have some lovely creature comforts added. We do have two levels of heated seats, not just on the driver's, but on the passenger's side as well. We do have our standard Mercedes gated shifter, and again, all the controls for the windows as well. Looks like we do have a control for the airbag also. As we move to the back seat, this is a four-seater, not a five-seater. It does have a nice center console area between the two seats in the back, and this does look really, really impressive. No tears in that leather. Everything is in amazing shape. Again, more wood trim on that center area as well, and if you note, there are heated seats also back there as well. Looks like in the back window, we do have a spot for our standard Mercedes medical kit. Not sure if it's in there, but it is an option that was available when the car was new. As we slide up to our headliner, nothing is sagging, a lovely dove gray color. And again, we have a great covering to our moon roof. As we slide back, we can see there is the roof to our shop. So as we end up back here at that steering wheel, lovely Mercedes icon in the center. And this thing is built like a tank. Everything is in pristine shape. He, this person has taken very good care of this car and the car is definitely thankful for it. Everything is just so well built in this car back in a classic era of Mercedes. So I'm curious, what's this like underneath? We do have a lot of the belly pan covers off. There was, like I said, valve cover gasket leaking. Nice rust protection everywhere, but it's gonna be cleaned up before we put it back together. Here's our radiator with a little tube-shaped core support holding everything together. No leaks going on there. We did put a new AC compressor on. The old one was leaking through the shaft seals, and it's just as easy or just as cheap just to replace it. We'll go back to this area. The oil pan has a little bit of seepage on it. That was from the valve covers. It was just basically running down the block. That's all been taken care of. We do have new motor mounts. The old ones were sunken pretty bad. There's one on that side and one on this side. Magic Mike got all that together for us. Check our wheels. Brake pads are good. The shocks are nice and dry. I can't really do a wiggle test with the weight of the vehicle on it. Brakes are good. Shock is dry. Everything looks good there. We are doing a lot of the fluid services on this one. This one's had the automatic transmission service done on it, which is fluid, filter, gasket, and everything that's been done. Also doing also an oil change, a differential. All those things are being taken care of. We have a new transmission mount, all nice and solid there. It's not sunken. I can put my finger underneath of it. When these go bad, you cannot get your finger underneath of it. The flex discs do have some minor wear, but they're not ready to be fully replaced yet. They're in decent shape. Here's our big trolley that Pack supplied us. Let me move it out of the way for you guys.
That's one thing that's really nice about these older Mercedes, is that they weren't looking like today's cars where everything's slammed to the ground by a cigarette pack thickness. It's got lots of room under here, lots of uh, ground clearance, which makes a very comfortable ride. Does it handle well doing G-force tests and things like that? No, that's not what the point of this car is. Here's our exhaust, everything is in intact. It's not rusted out real bad or anything. Here's our drive shaft, another flex disc, which is also in good shape. The differential has been serviced. Here's our CV axle, the boots look good. Our shock absorber is nice and dry. This does have a self-leveling suspension. Here's some of the accumulator spheres. Everything looks good there. Brakes are good, nothing leaking. CV boots are good on this side as well. And here's our giant muffler. It's like the size of a suitcase almost. So other than a few minor repairs and some services that were due, everything is clean and nice underneath just as well as on top. So let's go ahead and get this thing back on the ground. I really enjoy doing work for this customer. He's a seasonal customer. Half of the year he's at a different part of the country and another part of the year he's here in Kansas. He comes around once or twice a year. Sometimes he might skip a year if he's really busy, but he does come around. He trusts the work. He's been trusting us for a long time. Now back to the story with me merging with another small local shop. They actually proposed to me to merger shops and I would be part of the management team and help them grow their business. And together, maybe we could grow something even larger. And at the time, I didn't have YouTube. I just met Tyler. I just thought, hey, maybe this will be another step forward. But it ended up being after a year or two that I realized I was no longer part of the management team, that I'd been duped. I was now an employee. I wasn't at a point in life where I could say, screw you, bro, I'm out of here. I had to wait till that time arrived, so I just kept my mouth closed and worked and did what I'm supposed to do. I did learn some things along the way, but when the time came and a shop came for rent in the area, I said, sayonara, I'm out of here. This didn't work out like you told me it would. You're on your own. And me and Tyler had some big plans, some big things. He just started his YouTube channel back when he only had like 5,000 subs. But that's kind of where I got the mentality running a business is very similar to Steve Jobs. I don't want other people's hands in the cookie jar. I run the show. Because I've experienced what happens when it doesn't happen that way. It can go awry really fast. So I've had people say, well, let's collaborate or let's do this or let's merge our businesses. I'm like, nope, nope. I run the show and I just leave it that way. So that's a cool little story that's from way back that's involved with this car and this customer. And through the different moves that I've done, even all the way to here today, this customer has followed me all along the way. So I always try to do very good work. I always do very good work, but I definitely make sure I take care of this guy. He's a great customer. Another thing that makes him a great customer before we finish, I can remember a time when I was going through a long list of parts that need to be done to this car. He said, you know what, Car Wizard? I don't even care what it costs, just do it. I said, you got it, bro. We took care of him, he was happy. He's still happy, even today, years later. I always like Mercedes-Benz, especially this era where everything is very thick, very heavy. The, the cushioning, the metal, the glass, everything just feels so much more better. Mo better, I guess you can call it, than your average Honda or Toyota. But if you're curious what kind of tools that Magic Mike used to work on this very fine Mercedes-Benz, Check my Amazon affiliates link in the description below. We get a small cut and we really appreciate it. And we've done almost 500 videos now, Mrs. Wizard, or have Getting we? Getting close, very close. Almost 500 videos. We're hoping for 500 more. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.